Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our WS Ratchet and Nerd World Series 2024. Coming to you live from the world's first Muay Thai Stadium right here in the heart of Bangkok, Thailand. I am Aaron Suri Sampan, and joining me is former Muay Thai world champion Antoine Pinto. Thank you, Aaron. Always a pleasure to be here alongside with you. And of course, tonight, an amazing fight night. We have the female bantamweight Ratchanamnern Stadium on the line here in this legendary stadium, Aaron. Absolutely, and no better place than to watch Muay Thai than right here in Ratchanamnern Stadium. Established in 1945, Rajnamna Stadium has stood as the world's first Muay Thai stadium with 78 years of history. Rajnamna Stadium is truly the home and birthplace of the art of eight limbs, the best form of striking in the world. Of course, the oldest Muay Thai stadium in the world that used to be very different because we have entered a new era, a new era for Muay Thai and a new era for Ratchet Stadium. Absolutely, with the establishment of RWS, just like Antoine said, we have entered a new era of Muay Thai. RWS Ratchet Amnon World Series is one of the premier Muay Thai promotions on the face of the planet. RWS Ratchet Amnon World Series has gathered some of the best Muay Thai fighters from all corners of the globe to identify the best strikers on earth. RWS is giving opportunities to elite fighters to compete at the home of Muay Thai, Rajnam Nern Stadium. It's also home to the greatest Muay Thai tournament and has brought prestige back to the Rajnam Nern Stadium belt. Every week that belt will be defended for or fought for right here on RWS. Yeah, absolutely. At the main event tonight, like I said earlier, the female bantamweight Rajnam Nern Stadium will be on the line and of course along with that we do have six other amazing fights so let's have a look at the fight card in the very first prelim of the evening from thailand kaukonok war jackra wood will be taking on ghana x in decon gym from japan in the second prelim super ball nampe look sao kong gamnang kung from Thailand, we'll be taking on Maxim Kuz, Luxuan Arto R1 from France. The third prelim of the night, we have Narak Num Pontep tonight. She'll be taking on Winia Pineapple MMA. Moving on to the first bout in the main card from Thailand and ranked at number six, we have Senpon Sosomai. Tonight, he'll be taking on from France, Alexi Lojois. Yeah, then moving on to our second bout of the main card. Ahavat Gordon Silapa Thai Gym returns to take on Pet Medmai Gorgensanon from Thailand. And then in the co main event, Issei Exen Decon Gym from Japan will be taking on the debutant Kong Payat Po Lakbun from Thailand. And of course, the main event of the evening, the Ratchet and Nern Stadium female bantamweight title will be on the line and the triple champ Somrasami Manop Muay Thai Gym will be taking on and defending her title against the ranked number one Monika Choklikova. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so let's start the night with the very first fight of the evening. So please welcome the fighters. Kakanok Bo Chakavut and her opponent, please uh, welcome uh, Kana Exindekon J. Here comes the very first fighter of the night, born in Nakhonsawan, Thailand. Making her way to the ring here yeah, with a smile on her face. Please welcome Kokonok Wong Chakabut. And here comes her opponent making her debut tonight on RWS. One of the very best in this division from Japan. Kana is here fighting out of X and D Kanji. We've seen some fantastic Japanese talent over the years here on RWS. And I think Kana is going to add to it. Welcome to RWS. Kana X and D Kanji from Japan.
And there you can see the tail of the tape for the very first matchup tonight on this evening's RWS. Let's not forget a title fight in the main event. In the Recono, we have got Kao Konot from Thailand, 17 years of age, standing at 166 centimeters. She weighed in at 102.6 pounds and has a reach of 173 centimeters. She was born in Nakhon Sawan here in Thailand. She has a professional record of 16 fights, 11 victories, three losses and two draws. And she has fought here on RWS before, defeating Petna and Sai around two months ago. In the blue corner, we have got Kana from Japan. Also 17 years of age, she stands at 163 centimeters and she weighed in at 102.8 pounds. She has a reach of 159 centimeters. So she's giving away around 14 centimeters in reach. Could that play a part in this one? She was born in Fukuoka in Japan. She is undefeated in her professional career. Four victories from four fights, no draws, no losses. So if you can hear Mr. Beer, he's just explaining it again. You need to watch your Muay Thai, you need to watch your RWS that this indeed is in fact called the Y Crew done before every traditional Muay Thai bout, this dance. Because you will see it all throughout tonight's fights here on RWS. It's a tradition of Muay Thai that we very much embrace and keep alive in this promotion. Of course, you can also hear the live band as well playing. As you can see, another packed house here tonight on RWS. It's interesting because I've been doing some research, of course, from around two years ago when this promotion first started there was a lot of empty seats <laughs> lots of people weren't sure that this type of you know three round fight system here in Rajadam Nern could work but believe me it really has people seem to really enjoy the fact that we're giving opportunities to fighters around the world in this entertainment format of course but usually the main event is a killer five round traditional title fight just Marinating those two things together seems to have really worked and captured the imagination of a lot of Thai fans, Thai, Muay Thai fans, sorry, around the world. And long may it continue because we've still got a lot of things upcoming here on RWS. Of course, if you just joined us, the main event here tonight, Tom Ratsumi, the newly crowned champion of the first ever Bantam, female bantamweight division here at Rajadam Nern Stadium, will be defending her title against the number one contender from Slovakia, Monica Choklikova. That will be the five round main event here tonight. But in the meantime, we've got two ladies who I'm sure one day would love to try and have an opportunity at becoming a Rajadam Nern Stadium champion. And we've seen some great fights at this weight division. I mean, last week's was incredible. The first fight here, at this weight class as well, minimum weight, 105 pounds. There are indeed some very, very, very good Muay Thai female fighters at this weight. So maybe one day, we have, do have one female bout, one female ranking at the moment, but I'm sure the management of RWS, DSV are looking to expand that into other weight classes as well. All right, so here we go, first bout. Of the prelims, we have three prelims before we head into the main card. We've got Kao Konok from Thailand in the red corner. And we've got Kana from Japan in the blue. With the introductions, we have got the voice of RWS, the voice of Rajnamna Stadium, Mr. Beer. So the cup. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Beer, the voice of Russia Ramdan, and welcome to AWS Russia Ramdan World Series. We are live at the World First Muay Thai Stadium, Russia Ramdan Stadium, the birthplace of Muay Thai, watching live to over 30 countries around the world on the zone. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to start the first preliminary fights of the evening. Are you ready? This is Muay Thai! This is Rajaraman! Introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Rapin Soblik. And 
now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting! I want the red corner, 17 years of age. She is stamina and 66 centimeters tall and weighted at 1 and 2.6 pounds. She will record up 11 wins, 3 losses, and 2 draws. Representing the Council One Province, Thailand, the Children's Ball, Gaganok War! Fighter, I want the blue corner. 17 years of age. Just stand with it and 63 centimeters tall and ready with it and 2.8 pounds. She or record of total four wins. Fighting our Fukuoka Japan. Let's hear it for Connor. Kaganok undefeated here in RWS. Kana undefeated as a professional. Here we go. So Kana, like I said, undefeated, sorry, as a professional for it all, but big stage this for it to be competing. We've got Rajnamna Stadium full of, of a packed house, and of course, to everyone watching around the world on the zone. Let's see how she can handle that pressure. Mm. Oh, right away, very aggressive. Oh, good right hand there from Kalkanot. Oh, and again. Yep. Oh, and the big knee. Of course, Kalkanot Ooh. a little bit taller, taken down. Kana looking strong in the clinch. Of course, we've got Issei from the same gym. Mm. As Ghana fighting in the co-main oh. event here tonight. We've seen some tremendous fighters from Japan in RWS. Of course, Nadaka springs to mind straight away as one of the pound for pound best in the world. Ooh. Saya Ito, another female at this weight class, who's been tremendous. And of course, Issei. Of course, last week we saw Shimon as well, potentially now a top 10 contender, 130 pounds. <laughs> Talent from Japan. Oh, oh good low oh, kick oh, there oh. from Kana. That hurt Kao Kanok. Yeah, three times in a row. I feel like, yeah, I feel like her left leg can be compromised right now as Kana doing the right thing and going after that lead left leg. Yeah, and she is because Kao Kanok on the outside with her range, long kicks, long knees, was having the advantage until those two low kicks. You can definitely see, like you said, Aaron, the leg is compromised. 100%. You can see that Kao Kanok. She's not sure what to do right now, but it looks like she wants to try and engage the clinch. Which, if you are going to do that, it means, Ooh. yeah, you've got to get close. And that <sighs> means that it could be a little bit easier for Kana to then throw that low kick. Here we go again in the clinch. You've got to love that Japanese style, always very aggressive. And put, they put good combinations together as well, yeah. don't they? Stereotypically. But Kalkanot holding on right now. And oh, round number one, of course, two minutes for the females mm. here on RWS. The rounds do go fast. And of course, it is also open scoring. So you at home, of course, the fighters also get to see how the three judges at ringside have scored it using the 10 plus 6. But let's have a look at the highlights before we actually do take a look at how the judges have scored this one. Left up to the body there from Kana. Some good head striking, but that yeah. is low kick could be the difference maker as we move into the second round. But oh. as I say, Kalkanok, she did have a moment in that round. Will it be enough though in the eyes of the judges? Well, we will find out. Stay with us, round two of next. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, all three judges. All right, let's see what happens now in round number two. Will Kanak continue to press? Will she let Kalkanok move forward and then look to counter strike? Because Kalkanok, she can't sit back now. Yeah. Being one round down. Uh, absolutely, she does have, she does need to engage now and it looks like this is what she's trying to do. Of course, it's more difficult to block the low kicks when you're going backwards. Absolutely, and again, you can see Kana throwing those leg kicks, and again, 
Another strong right, low kick there by the Japanese fighter. Kalkanok winning the clinch here, looking to drive some ease to the body. Kalkanok not necessary having the advantage in the clinch as well. Yeah, very true. Back into the clinch we go with the two Oh, good right hand as they separated. Tempted jab there from Kalkanok. He reached an inside thigh kick there from Kana. Yeah, and it looks like every single time Kalkanok is trying to land that right middle kick, Kana just throws back with a big low kick. Ooh, Ooh, she goes to the body, she slips and then ate an elbow. Well timed there by Kalkanok, oh. but again she eats another oh. low kick. And again, it's five or six within this fight. You see her base is slowly starting to dwindle now. Yeah, absolutely. You feel the pain in that left leg. Good that timing from Kana as well. Every single oh. time Kalkanok walks forward, she throws at that low kick. And what she seems to be doing now is trying to keep Kalkanok away with the left leg and then throwing that right low kick, mm. if she can indeed find it. Woo. And again, Kalkanok <laughs> looking for her. I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> Knee there by Kalkanok. Yeah, Kalkanok not really able to adjust right now. Yeah, Kalkanok not having the best of rounds right now. You can see that leg is definitely compromised. She is struggling. Oh, and again, Kana. There's that left tee. It just keeps her away. Yeah, absolutely. And again, end Woo. of round number two. What a round for Kana. I do have to mention that you're absolutely right. This round, the left push kick, the left tee, was definitely the key fighter making Kalkanov unable to actually use her timing, use her distance. Always kept away. Yeah, absolutely. It worked wonders for her. Even in the clinch, you said it, Antoine. It didn't look like Kalkanok was having it all way. Good right hand there from Kana. That elbow from Kalkanok, probably the shot of the round for her, but apart from that, in my opinion, it was all about the attacking prowess of Kana in that round. Could it be that she goes two rounds up with one round remaining? Beautiful inside title there by the Japanese fighter. Looking to extend the record to 5 0. Let's see if she does it. Final round up next. Ladies and gentlemen, in the second round, all three judges, scoring by Blue Tail. And for the final score, all three judges scored with 18, Blue 20. And you fight the pressure, or do they continue what's been working for them? We've seen many a time where they do sit back, they do fight the pressure, it does very much work against them, it almost puts them in a bad predicament. Let's see what Canada does here. There's that left two. Kalkanok trying to be aggressive, Ooh. trying to push the pace as Kana targets that leg. There's that teeth. Oh, the right hand from Kana every time. Such a good way to defend the position for Kana is that teeth. The tires Kalkanok out as well. He's getting teeth to the body. Good movement, good footwork here by Kana. Well, it seems like Kalkanok is trying to use her hands. Oh, oh. good right hand there from Kana. It's always great to see those young fighters up and coming in the feeling fight card. Yeah, absolutely. Let's not forget both these girls, just 17 years of age. Time on their side. <laughs> great experience, of course, to be fighting here at Rajnaman Stadium. This kind of lives a beautifully timed left up to the body there. <laughs> we come up with a game plan against Kalkanuk. I'll tell you what, Ooh. it's really worked here tonight. Those low kicks. And beautiful hands. Yeah, you can see Kana has been very disciplined into staying into the game plan all the way long. Now it's just about eating the seconds running down the clock and she will indeed get her hand raised here at Raj Damnon Stadium on RWS for the very first time in her career. Oh, solid left up to the body. I feel like that's just took the sail, the wind out the sails of Kalkanok. Oh, and there's that team once again, yeah. working absolute wonders. Every it's almost demoralized Kalkanok. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, those combinations following through. <laughs> Very true. You can see Kalkanok now on the back foot, almost in survival mode in a round where she needed to find <laughs> something special against Kana. Yeah, she seems a little bit out of solutions now, and I Indeed. couldn't understand why. Not able to defend that team. 
And there you have it, the third and final round. All Kana in round number three. Star in the making here on RWS. Just 17 years of age, extending her professional record to 5-0. Against the very game, Cal Canuck. Very impressed with Kana. In fact, I think she's ranked in the top 10 of the WMO World Rankings. Wow. And I can see why at this weight class. Let's have a look at how she Ooh. did in round number three. That was round number one, wasn't it? Yeah. Taking away the base of the very tall Kalkanok. A great start to the fight. Delivering some beautiful uh, punching techniques throughout, throughout the entire fight, indeed. Just too much, too strong, too quick for Kalkanok here tonight. All right, let's make this one official. Mr. Beer is in the ring, and then we'll move on to our second prelim of the evening here on Art of the US. Ladies and gentlemen, of the three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judge's scorecard. All three judges, score is about 30 to 27. The clan your winner, by way of unanimous decision! RWS and going back to the first uh, prelim of the night. Good performance from the Japanese fighter, Aaron. Yeah, absolutely. Kana, too strong, too slick. She had a game plan to tee, throw those low kicks and good punches as well. Perfectly executed by Kana, just 17 years of age. A bright future ahead, of course, for the Japanese fighter. Congratulations to her and her team. All right, now moving on to the second prelim of the night. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the fighters. Superbon Nampe. Luke Sao, Kam Nan Kung, and his opponent, please uh, welcome uh, Maxim Combos. And here he comes all the way from Sisake, Thailand, Superbon, uh, with uh, the gym name, the longest ever seen here in RWS. Please uh, welcome Superbon from her Luxao Kam Nan Kung. And here comes his opponent, the crazy frog, Max King Coombs, Luxawan Ato R1, making his debut here tonight. In fact, both fighters making their debut here tonight. It's going to be interesting to see how they, I always say this, how they perform on the big stage, but what an opportunity for these two. Welcome to RWS, Maxime Hughes from France. And there you can see the tail of the tape for your second matchup in the prelims here tonight of the scheduled three prelims. Super Ball in at the red corner from Thailand. He's just 19 years of age, standing at 179 centimeters. Stands at 179 centimeters, weighing in at 136.7 pounds. He has a reach of 181.5 centimeters. Born in Sisaket in the northeastern part of Thailand. He has a professional record of 65 fights, 60 victories with just five losses. Tremendous record for Super Bowl. In the blue corner, we have got Maxime Coombs from France. In fact, 
is from Reunion Island, 22 years of age, standing at 176 centimetres, so three centimetres shorter than Super Bowl. He weighed in at 137 pounds and has a reach of 176 centimetres. So five centimetre reach advantage for Super Bowl over Maxime. He's from St. Pierre in France, or maybe Reunion Island, I'm not sure which one. He has a undefeated professional record of 12 and 0. Very impressive indeed. And in fact, he has fought here at Rajnam Noon Stadium before, but not on RWS, on the RKO show, Rajnam Noon Knockout, which takes place here every Tuesday and every Friday. And we give opportunities to what you might call an experienced fighters here at Rajnam Noon Stadium to try and build their career. And if they do perform, then they have got an opportunity to compete on the big stage here on RWS. I'm not sure what was going on there. It looked like Maxime Coombs was just having a chat with the referee about something. About performing the white crew, maybe? Well, anyway, he's relented and he's performing it right now. Well, yeah, two... Oh, sorry, second fight of three scheduled prelims this evening here on RWS, but it's all about building up to the main event. And it is an international 118 pound in Rajadam Nern Stadium title defense. As the current champion, Som Ratsami Manokjim, a two-time tournament champion here on RWS. And the first ever female Rajadam Nern Stadium champion will defend her title for the very first time against the beast that is Monica Choklikova. A fighter who hasn't lost in professional Muay Thai. She has had losses in K1, but that was 11 fights ago, that should be noted. Professional Muay Thai, she's undefeated in, I believe, seven years, six or seven years in the sport. Just professional Muay Thai, incredible run. Of course, she last fought Monica, last fought her professional bout here at Rajanamon Stadium in a Road to Rajanamon Stadium show where she won via knockout. Wow, crowd behind this one. Speaking of international bouts, as is this one, it's Thailand taking on France. Super Bowl in at the red corner and Maxime Coombs from France by way of Reunion Island in the blue with the introductions, Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second preliminary fight of the evening. This is Muay Thai. This is Raj Randan. Introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Narin Pong Hit Run. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting about the red corner, 19 years of age. He stands at 179 in this hall and very minute hands at 36.7 pounds. He will record of 60 wins and five losses. Representing CCK Province, Thailand, the two Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Fighting on the blue corner, 22 years of age. He stands at 176 centimeters tall and very limited at 37 pounds. He will record a total 12 wins. Representing France, let's hear it for Your people are in here tonight. There seems to be a lot of French Muay Thai fans supporting Maxime Coombs. Let's see how we can perform here at the home of Super Bowl Thailand versus France, round number one.
definitely a big French crowd here tonight. Of course, sure. on the ring, uh, you're alone. So let's see how he performs, like you said. Right away, the pressure coming from Max. Oh, oh, and a good left hook. Yeah. Some kicks early on there from Super Bowl, almost finding the target. Again, going, looking to go upstairs. Woo. You know, we've seen some Thai fighters appear on RWS with good records, and they've taken their foreign counterparts very lightly. You've got to be careful, you can't underestimate your opponent. Let's not forget, Maxime is undefeated in his professional record. 12 0, right hand there by Super Bowl. Determination. Oh, oh good strong, strong kick to the midsection. That's a very aggressive, yeah, like we said, counter strikes coming from Super Bowl. Of course, the more experienced out of the two. Oh, Ooh. nice left hook. Great timing there by Super Bowl. Ooh. Nice right hand as well. Maxim needs to be careful as he tries to push forward. Yeah, you can see he's looking for elbows within the clinch. Super Bowl though, doing well to guard. Has a nice left knee to the body there of Maxime. Good start to the round here by Super Bowl. And the fact that now the pace is going a little bit slower than it was oh, during the first, first 30 seconds. You can see composure. Well, we saw a difference Control. there in the, the state of those body kicks. Super Bowl able to scout and grab a hold of Maxime's Ooh. kick. Whereas every time Super Bowl seems to throw a shot to the body, he connects. Maxime looking for an elbow that time. To stay active, he needs to stay close because you can really see control, oh. composure coming from Super Bowl with that middle kick and a check hook again. Ooh. 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 Oh, yeah, good combination there by Maxine. He's more of a oh. big elbow. Good connect. Big right elbow there from Maxine. That could be a big difference maker. Absolutely. When you feel like Super Bowl is in control, yes. Maxine coming back with a few big shots. He's more of those, of course, the combinations. Oh, oh good hook. To openings. Right and left there from Maxime. Does have power, it seems. Much closer round than expected. Of course, it's the kicks coming from Superbond versus the hands. Combinations from Maxime. Good block. Superbond attempts in that right high kick three or four times. Mm. Flexing off the arms of Maxime every single time. Oh, but that oh, body oh, kick. Oh. Got us through. Every single Ooh. time as Maxine looks for a left elbow through at the guard. Yeah, it'll be nice to see Maxine block those middle kicks as well. So, yeah. Closing stages now of round number one. There's Ooh. that kick once again by Super Bowl. Exquisite. And again. Maxine though, pushing forward, being aggressive. Again, looking for an Ooh. elbow. Ooh. Good sportsmanship coming from Maxim though. <laughs> Probably didn't hear what the ref was saying. Either way, close round. It's going to be interesting to see how the judges are going to score this one. Of course, the kicks from Super Bowl landing over and over and over. It's definitely going to score a lot. But we had the power shots from the hands of Maxim. Yeah, good point. Let's have a look at the highlights. They can see a beautiful right kick to the body. Nice left hook in the pie by Maxim. There! Ooh. Shot of the round, that big elbow strike. Fortunately for Super Bowl, he didn't cut him. He didn't really seem to affect him at all. But it is a, a warning shot. Maxine does have that in his locker. Let's have a look at it again. Oh. It's motion. Woo! Hey, what? Super Bowl did well to stay on his feet. Mm. Stay with us. Round two up next. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, all three judges for Red 10, Blue 9. So with a victory here on RWS at Radlam Stadium. Let's see what happens here in round number two. Straight away, right kick to the body. It's not broken, there's no need to fix it. Ooh. Punch in there by Maxi. Left and right hooks coming in. Tempted low kick. Staying busy is Maxi. Yeah, I'd like to see him switch it up. Hands and perhaps a few low kicks and middle kicks. Right now for focusing only on hitting the head. And see Super Bowl. Good take that. See, that will make Super Bowl think at least about throwing that kick to the bottom. Oh. Within the clinch again. 
and very active. Very nice to see him pushing forward over and over. Oh, oh. the middle kick from Super Bowl. He's trying to break the guard down the Super Bowl. Kind of bull bulldozes his way through with punches. Good footwork coming from Maxim as well. Avoiding oh. those and a good left elbow oh, again. Right. Super Bowl susceptible to the elbows, it seems. Mm. Another left hook there. Oh! And let me tell you something, it seems like Superbon is getting tired yeah, from the constant is. pressure from Maxim. 100%, and let's not forget, oh. we didn't mention he was actually a late replacement. Mm. Maxim was supposed to be fighting a, a fight by the name of Jai Pet. But he wasn't Bam. able to make it. Yeah, Superbon, good left down, I'll tell you what, you're right, Antoine. Superbon looks exhausted right now. Maxime, if he continues to apply the pressure, oh, oh, ho, ho. he's not defending himself very well. He doesn't have much pop on those elbow strikes. Super one now seems to want to go to engage with the elbows, go to war. I like what he was doing oh, with the... What a combination, left hook to the body, right elbow going oh. by Maxime. And again with that right elbow. Super Bowl is trying to match him with those elbow strikes, and I'm not sure that's a smart thing to do. Yeah, that's got to be because he is actually getting tired. It is costing him more energy to kick than to elbow, of course. You can see him now not really wanting to lift his legs, as he does now a little bit slower, so he gets caught with those hands. Maxim yeah. is going to love the camping of Super Bowl right now. The right hand one, he's got heavy legs right now. His movement is just not there, is it? And his kicks have gone. Now he's looking to find elbow. Oh, just as I say that, right high kick there. Oh, big elbows. Right smile on the face of Superbon. Oh. Maxim continuing with the oh, pressure. Oh, oh. oh, look at the foot, look at the legs. He's starting to wobble. Maxim just spamming elbows right now. We've got oh. blood, we've got blood flowing from the eye. The left eye of Maxim. An elbow war in the second round here on Absolutely. IWS. And no. there again, the balance is just not there. Whew. Welcome to Muay Thai, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, difficult one to score. Wow, wow, what a round. And again, Super Bowl going back to his corner, exhausted. The great end of the round for him with the cut. I love the way that both fighters just stood right in the middle of that ring and decided to throw elbows at each other. Big, big. Questions now for the judges to who they thought won that round. I mean, the approach from Maxime was amazing in the end because we were thinking, all right, he's gonna have to try and block these body kicks. Mm. But Super Bowl, after the impression that was applied, he just had to go and fight Maxime at his own game. It's yeah. really interesting fight in round number two. Stay with us, round two. Oh, sorry, the third and final round will be up next. The question remains though, is it even or is it two rounds up for Super Bowl? Ladies and gentlemen, in the second round, the first round score red 10, blue 9. The second and the third round score red 9, blue 10. And for the third round score, the first round score red 20, blue 18. The second and the third round score 19 to 19, even. As I probably see it, if I'm being honest, I thought that Maxi took the second round. But I couldn't stand because of the cut. Why the judges might have seen it in the favour of Super Bowl as well. But here we go. It's not declared just the round, but in essence, if you win the round, you will indeed win the fight. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Did Super Bowl recover? It seems like you did now, using those kicks a little bit more. I'd like to see Maxim apply pressure like he did in the previous round now, somehow going backwards, perhaps because of the cut. Yeah. Oh, oh big elbow strikes. Super Bowl has a chin on him. Oh! Oh! There's the strength being shown from Maxi. And it was great to see Superbon adjust, being a little bit tired in the previous round, going with the elbows. It's going to be interesting now. In this oh. round, what's going to happen? You see Maxi. I think he's a little bit bothered by that cut. Kind of yes, wipe those blood away from him. Oh. I don't know how Superbon isn't cut, if I'm being honest. The amount of elbows <laughs> that he's eating. Fancy right hand there from Maxime. He walks into the, another right kick to the body. Oh, good elbows from Maxime once again. Left and right. 
But then throws a left elbow that goes through the guard of Maxi and then follows it with a left kick to the body. That's good work from Super Bowl. And again, right kick to the body. Oh. So Maxi is being the aggressor, but he's not finding the strikes that he did actually find in round number two. Stakes it. Looks up at the clock and see that he's got under two minutes to go. Right high kick there from Super Bowl. Yeah, right, and it seems like now it's Maxim oh, slowing down for mobile right shots. Oh. Left down row again by Super Bowl. I love the way these two are. Oh, big left hand there by Maxim. Right kick to the body. Oh, big right elbow from Maxim. Back and forth we go. Absolutely, Maxim just going to work. Spamming elbows and a great takedown at the perfect moment. One minute remaining on the clock. One minute, just over one minute to go. I can't do oh. it. Big right elbow. Super Bowl is rocking. He's hurt. Great big elbows as he tries to fire. Oh. He's got no power left. Four, five, oh, and he's six, hurt. seven, eight, nine elbows. How many more can he take? Down. He's done. He's done. Wow. What a victory coming from Maxim, all hard for this man, what a comeback. We were speaking about how tired Super Bowl was, but just how tired as well was Maxim from all the effort that he applied throughout the entire fight, but he is able to find and combine those elbows in the final round and stop and knock out Super Bowl. What a win to Take your record to 13 and 0. Exceptional. Magnifique by <laughs> Maxime here tonight on RWS. Still undefeated. What an amazing performance coming from Maxime tonight. Definitely a fighter with a bright future we'll be looking for. Absolutely. And let's have a look at how we did it in the highlights because that was exceptional. I mean, Super Bowl, he actually looked more, more in control than he did in rounds one and two. In rounds one and three, he was looking fantastic, but then that pressure applied to a fatigue. Super Bowl, he did have anything left oh. in the tank. The elbows, and eventually the knees after Super Bowl was wilting. With the cherry on the cake, the straw that broke the camel's back. And in fact, Super Bowl is getting stretched out of the ring. It's sad to see that. But let's have a look at that left knee. Oh, straight to the Sheesh. face. Oof. And perhaps a second as well. Knees and elbows. That's what Muay Thai is all about. Let's get the official confirmation of the decision by our MC, Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, of the two minutes and 14 seconds of the third row, we have a winner by way of no good news! What a victory from the French fighter and what a comeback after losing the first round and of course going to a judgment round, Aaron. Yeah, absolutely. It was sensational by Maxime. He was down, wasn't he, after round number one. Then he just came back, brute force in rounds two and three, slowly wilting Super Bowl, who eventually fell to those vicious and violent elbows. Congratulations to Maxime. Hope to see him again here on RWS. All right, now moving on to the third prelim of the night. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the fighters. Nalak Numpontep and her opponent. Please welcome Winia Hainapo Amame. And here comes uh, Narak, born in Kalasin, Thailand. Uh, Narak, which means uh, cute, and that is her name. Uh, welcome, Narak Numponte. Here comes her opponent all the way from Singapore.
Singapore, Winia fighting up for MMA. We have seen Winia a couple of times here on RWS, and he's a very strong fighter. He's very, very talented. And as you can see, confident to go along with that talent. This has the potential to be a great fight. Two very, very high level females going at it in this one. Speaking of high level females in the main event. Son Ratsami, the bantamweight champion, will be defending against Slovakia's Monica Tronkovic here tonight on RWF. And they can see the tail of the tape for this one in the recorder. Narak Numpontep from Thailand. Just 18 years of age, standing at 165 centimetres. She weighed in at 113.7 pounds and has a reach of 165 centimetres. She was born in Galasin in the northeastern part of Thailand. She has a professional record of 29 fights. 18 victories with 11 losses and like I said she's fought here on RWS a couple of times before with wins over Cindy Sylvester from France last October. We need a pineapple Muay Thai or pineapple MMA sorry from Singapore in the blue corner 25 years of age so seven years older than Narak. She stands at 163 centimetres, so Narak, two centimetre height advantage. She weighed in at 114.7 pounds. Has a reach of 158 centimetres, so that's a seven centimetre reach advantage for Narak Nampontep. She's from Singapore, she has a professional record of 11 fights, nine victories with two losses. And Wania has a win over Paula Andrew here on RWS. However, she does have a loss against the very talented Gamlai Pet, Pet Yindi Academy as well. Gamlai Pet, I mean, she's probably second or third in the rankings right now at that weight. So that's a very high level fight. And it was a very good fight against Gamlai Pet. So, but this fight not taking place at 118 pounds. Banter weight, it will be taking place at super flyweight, 115 pounds or just under. But yeah, two very high level fighters. And again, once again, I'm potentially in the future, we are looking at increasing the amount of rankings and indeed championship title belts here at Rajnam Nern Stadium that the females can indeed fight for. But before we do that, we have to increase the talent pool. And that's what this is all about. We've just seen a great fight in bout number one here tonight. Of course, this one, and we also have the main event this evening for that 118 pound bantamweight title, Som Ratsami, the current champion, also the two time RWS tournament champion, defending against Monica Choklikova. A formidable fighter from Slovakia. Really looking forward to that main event. I know that Monica has actually brought a lot of people over from Slovakia for the fight. So the stadium it should be a rocking for our main event. In the meantime, it's the third and final prelim this evening, and it is Thailand taking on Singapore. Narak Numpontep from Thailand in the red corner. And Winia from Pineapple MMA from Singapore in the blue. With introductions, Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the third prelim of RWS Ratchet of the World Series. This is Muay Thai. This is Ratchet of Nern. Introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Chun Lin Tep Supan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, 
fighting of the Red Cutter, 18 years of age. She stands at 165 centimeters tall and 30 minutes and 13.7 pounds. She will record of 18 wins and 11 losses. Representing Dallasin Province, Thailand, the Zurich Bar, Narang Nung Hotel! Of the blue corner, 24 years of age. She stands at 163 centimeters tall and weighs more than 14.7 pounds. She will record of nine wins and two losses. Representing Singapore, let's hear it for Winnie. shot of a packed house once again here at Rajagamna Stadium. Three two minute rounds for the females. Round one. Here we go. Final prelim before we head into our main card. Left kick there to start the proceedings by Narak. And again, looking for that left high kick. Oh, and again, three in a row. <laughs> Winnie, a much bigger, naturally bigger fighter than Narak. So, utilizing that clinch, smart idea in my opinion. Oh, again, swing and a miss, but Winnie, looking out of the way, Matrix style. Again, using that left oh. into a weapon. Marek, very composed. You can see what she wants to do. Constant left kicks, springing on the balls of her feet. She doesn't want to get cornered though. Winnie on the other hand, really trying to close the distance. Trying to avoid that left kick. Back to the center of the ring we go. <laughs> that left kick constantly hitting over and over and over. There it is once again. The only thing you can say though is how long will the referee allow Narak to consistently move backwards like this? Good knee there by Narak. Because we know they have been instructed to not allow, can't let fighters constantly be on the back foot. That's what Narak seems to be doing right now. There you can see again. Ooh. Looking to counter strike, left jab. We are not really able to land any shot right now, even though, like you said, Narek on the back foot. Still hitting back so far. Good left kick, good timing. Ooh. Good knees as well as she moves forward. Clinching well. Just trying to frustrate Winnie clearly in this round. Mm. Good control from the Thai fighter so far. End of round number one. Vinia seems to be happy with her performance. Not quite sure how the judges gonna, are going to score this one. Of course, she was being the aggressor, but she didn't land as many shots as Narak did. Yeah, I mean, I'll probably say that Narak probably took the round. In my opinion, I'm not a judge, of course. But I just think that left kick, the left counter strikes there were causing more issues than what Neil was giving back. Based on that and that alone, really, you'd have to give it to Narak. But of course, we will find out. She, she open scoring here on RWS as you look on at the highlights. Score it in. Blue nine. get a camera on non-goal. It'll be interesting <laughs> to see how is Vinia going to adjust now. The game plan of Narak is pretty, well, I don't want to say pretty simple, but it's not really, but the left kick is the main weapon. Oh, three in a row again. Yeah, left kick, left hand oh. again, straight to the body that time. This is where I thought Vinia could have some success. 
Oh. You can see the footwork of Narak there oh. and the trips. Yeah, the control, the composure oh. with left hand. And again with that left hand, left kick combination. Beautiful by Narak. Great start, start to the round here by the tie. Mm. Yeah, and even though she is fighting on the back foot, but she's more adjust, adjusting oh. to the distance and a good left kick. Oh, and Obio down. I do believe it went to the head. Not oh, really sure if it was okay. a slip or a knockdown. Either way, already counted. So we'll be attaining grounds for the Thai fighter. It's interesting, isn't it? Because over the weeks here at the US, yeah. we've definitely seen some questionable knockdowns <laughs> that weren't counted. Absolutely. Relatively soft, that one for RWS. But either way, unfortunately for Winnie, if she doesn't find a knockdown of her own, it will be a 10-8 round. One minute left on the clock. But you have to give it to Narak. She's looked fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect control, perfect distance from the oh, tie fighter. Ooh. What a left hand that was by Narak. See, that's the thing, Winnie, she's looking to try and counter the kick, and all of a sudden, Narak throws that left hand. Very technical, this one. 30 seconds left of the round. Another left kick to the body. Left hand combination for Narak. He's happy to stand in the corner. Yeah, she is indeed. Always landing the left kick over and over and over again. And when she does smell the danger, she wraps up with Nia. That's the experience of the Thai fighter. Of course, Vinia the more aggressive out of the two in terms of pushing forward, but not quite able to find her own distance to land her shots. Once again, Narak on the back foot. And there's that left paw, that left jab. I'm sorry, left hand in the south paw. Another round in the books there here on RWS. So it is indeed a 10-8 round due to the fact that Winnie was counted in that round for Narak. Great job by the Thai fighter. Let's have a look at the highlights. Straight in for Winnie. Left hand, left kick. Simple but very, very effective. Ooh. I'm not sure how you could have counted that. It looked like she grabbed her leg and she fell over. I'm not balanced though, if I'm being honest. All right, well, stay with us the third and final round of the prelim fight is up next here on RWS before we head into the main card. Gentlemen, in the second round, all three judges score red 10, blue 8. On the total score, all three judges score red 20, blue 17. Third and final round. Here we go, final round. The pressure is on. For the fighter from Singapore, Ooh. beautiful combinations. One, two, three. Good defense from Narak, of course. She'll only need uh, to survive the round in order to be declared the winner. Yeah, and there's nothing that Narak has to change in this round. Fighting off the back foot and countering has been working perfectly for her. And that's all she's going to have to need to do now in round number three, because you know Winnie is going to have to apply the pressure. So it actually works in her favor. She's just shaving some seconds off the clock there, wrapping her hands around Winnie. We saw her in the third and final round in the last fight. If you can apply the pressure, you can find big shots. Anything can happen, especially with elbows. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Marek willing to go to war. Oh, good left knee there. And a good left knee of her own by Winnie. Winia, just one minute in this fight to try and find something. Very, very tough. Oh, oh. sexy right hand. There's that left kick once again by Narak. Ooh. And that kick constantly landing over and over and over. And now in the clinch. Oh, big left knee from Narak. Not only driving knees into the body, but like once again, like I said, just shaving those seconds off the clock. Mm. Narak is almost winning this fight with her brains as well as a incredible technique. Oh! Good left hand there by Narak. She was waiting for this one. And remember, just 18 years of age. Oh, good right hand there by Winia. 
good body strikes by Winia. Much better. That body strike seems like yeah. it's momentarily taking the breath away from Nara. If only she could have employed that technique earlier on in this fight, it might have been a different fight altogether. Absolutely, of course, easier said than done. And there you have it, unfortunately for Winia, mm. unable to find a devastating knockout against Narak, who will get a hand raised here tonight on RWS. A great performance by a very, very talented 18-year-old. Who extends the record here to 2-0 and on RWS. Congratulations to her. Four. Yeah, that was a knockdown. I do believe it could have been scored a slip, to be honest. <laughs> I think I don't think that was a knockdown. I'm being brutally honest. Let's have a look at it one more time. Yeah. That left high kick was more more toes, wasn't it? Absolutely. I mean, it it was enough balance, but it could also have been scored as a knockdown. Either way, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, we'll get the official confirmation of the decision and then stay with us for our main card here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, of the three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges, score is about 30 to 26. Declare your winner by way of United Mars decision. Single Thai traditional music band, Russian of the Big Long Orchestra. Back to RWS. Ratchet of Nerd World Series 2024. And now moving on to the main card, Aaron. Yeah, absolutely. But before we go on to that main card, I just have to say that those three prelims were exceptional. Great fights, all, every single one of them. But it's all about the main card. And not only that, it's about making history here tonight. The first ever female Ratchet of Nerd Stadium title defense will take place in our main event. I cannot wait. All right, so let's have a last check at the fight card. In the very first bout in the main card tonight, we have a ranked number six from Thailand, Sampon Sosomai. Tonight, he'll be fighting against French fighter and ranked number five, Alexi Lojoie. And then in bout number two, we've got Ahavat Gordon making his return from Silapa Thai gym, taking on Hetnet Mai Gorgesanon. And then in bout number three, number 10 ranked Issei Exin Deacon Jim from Japan will be taking on the debutant 
Kong Payak for Luck Boon from Thailand. And of course, the main event of the evening, the Ratchet and Nern Stadium female bantamweight title will be on the line. Somra Sami, the champion, she is Ratchet and Nern champion and two times our WS champion. Tonight, she'll be defending her title against Monica, currently ranked number one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so please uh, welcome the first fight in the main card. Make some noise for our fighters, Santon Sosomai, and his opponent, please uh, welcome Alexi Lojois. All right, and here he comes all the way from Ubon Ratchathani, Thailand. He is back here in Ratchathani Stadium once again. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sanpon Sosomai. And here comes his opponent, currently Ranked above him in the rankings. Number five after defeating Patrick Tirupon. Last time we saw him on RWS, Alexi Lojois is back inside the Rajnamnon Stadium ring. Remember, the current champion at welterweight is Hercules War Jack Rowood. And he has got a big target on his back because there are some very, very talented fighters at this weight. Is Alexi Lojois and win this fight and get one step, step closer to a title fight. Let's find out in our first fight of the main card this evening on RWS. And there you can see the tail of the tape for this matchup in our first bout of the evening in the main card. At welterweight, 147 pounds. In the red corner, Senpon Sosamai from Thailand. 22 years of age, standing at 179 centimeters. Weighing in under the limit at 146.6 pounds. He has a reach of 186 centimeters. He was born in Ubon Ratchathani here in Thailand. He has a professional record of 57 victories and just 25 losses. The current Thailand super welterweight champion, that's 154 pounds, he's won his seven of last eight fights since moving down to welterweight. He's, he's fought some of the big names at this weight, including John Tong, Rambo, Talai Tong, Kajaiba, and even Daniel Rodriguez. In the blue corner, Alexis Lujois from France, 25 years of age, so Sempon is three years younger than Alexi. He stands at 170 centimeters, so giving away nine centimeters in height. He weighed in well under the limit, 145 pounds. He has a reach of 181 centimeters. So again, Sempon has an advantage in the reach as well, five centimeters. He was born in this year in France. He has a professional record of 41 fights, 33 victories with eight losses. Currently ranked fifth in the rankings at welterweight. Very, very impressive. Sempon number six. Like I said, a win here tonight could put you in contention or at least one step closer to a welterweight title shot somewhere down the line. Now, if you do want to see the rankings, all you have to do is go to the website. I believe it's rajdamnern.com or .co.th and you can see on the top of the banner there is a button that says rankings and you can check out all the rankings from minimum weight all the way up to middleweight here at Rajdamnern Stadium. They are updated on the first of every month and then Few, three or four days later, they'll be uploaded to the website. So it's good to keep up to date with the rankings here at Rajdam Nern Stadium very easily via the website. All right, here we go as we look once again at a packed house here tonight in a very, very high-level opening bout. 
Senpon Sosamai from Thailand taking on Alexi Lujois from France. Three three minute rounds at 147 pounds welterweight. With the introductions for your first fight of the evening in the main card, the voice of RWS, Mr. B. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now entering the main card. Today we have four bouts on the main card, featuring the main event of the evening, President of the Stadium Female Bantamweight title match between a challenger from Slovakia versus your Thai champion. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to start their first main card of the evening. We are live! On the best place of Muay Thai to other the countries around the world! This is Muay Thai! And this is Roger Dunder! Introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Parin Han Tanabun. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, 72 years of age. This time at 179 centimeters tall and weighing at 146.6 pounds, he will record a 57 wins and 25 losses. He is the current Thailand Super Welterweight Champion representing Ubon Bajatani Province, Thailand, the children for Sanpan So Soma. His opponent, fighting out of the new corner, 35 years of age. He's stand at 170 cm tall and weighing 145 pounds. He will record up 33 wins and eight losses. He is the WKM European champion, representing France. Let's hear it for Alexi Lejoie. Well, on the prelims, we already saw one French fighter get a victory over his Thai opponent. Let's see how this one pans out. Senpon, the experience versus Alexi Lujois. All right, and here we go. Senpon, very aggressive right away. All fighters in the top 10 in this weight class. Nice low kicks by Alexi. Oh, <laughs> left high kick almost getting through there for Senpon. Left hook attempt from Alexi. Senpon currently 3 and 1 in RWS. He's in the tournament at 147 pounds. He had a win over Sajjad Satari, who was then the Rajam Nur Stadium champion. Ooh. He also defeated Yukimitsu and even Gokan Boran as well. He did lose though, getting violently knocked out by Ritubadai, who went on to win the tournament. That was in the semi-final of the tournament. Absolutely. The overall, Sanpon, very impressive. He, of course, tonight, Alexi, the challenger. Ooh. Oh, left kick to the body there by Sampon. Right hand by Alexi to the body. Sampon goes back downstairs. Sampon overall in 2023 had six fights, five and one, with the only loss being against me too with that. So very good 2024. And he's had one fight in 2024 already, winning that one. So he's one and all currently this year. Of course, let's not forget that our WS tournament will be back very soon. Not quite sure if 147 will be part of it or not, but either way, if it is, 
both of these fighters could most likely be part of the tournament. Potentially to face each other again after this fight. Yeah, we're still intrigued, Anton and I, about what the format will be. Will it be the group stages? Will it be a knockout tournament from the very start? And of course, the weight categories as well, usually five weights. Speaking of the tournament, Sam Ratsani, she won the inaugural 2022 tournament at 112 pounds. And then last year, she went on to win it at the newer weight, 118 pounds. She will be in action defending her Rajnamur Stadium title belt in the main event here tonight. Sempon, beautiful kicking here right now. Left kick to the body. Going to the legs as well. Confusing Alexi. Who's uh, having to fight off the back foot. Oh, oh! Almost with that swing in left hook. Good knee to the midsection there by Senpon. Great technique. And Alexi trying to get into position. Senpon is coming out on top within the clinch. Yeah, he is. Senpon with a dominant position in the clinch. So far, so good for the Thai fighter. Pushing forward with an almost perfect game plan right now. Oh, look at that right kick. Oh, beautiful counter. Nice end of the round there by Alexi. But it could be that mm. Senpon takes this one with all the clinching and kicking that we saw earlier on in the round. Two excellent fighters going head to head there in round number one. Let's have a look at the highlights. Senpon on the Ooh. front foot straight away, taking the fight to Alexi. That was right at the end, wasn't it? Yeah, Alexi it was. trying to dig a punch into the body. Damn. Oof. Oof. Almost. Raising Senpon, stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, the first shot score red 10, blue 9, the second shot score red 9, blue 10, and the last shot score red 10, blue 9. Let's see what happens here in round number 2. Number two, right away. Sampon back in the clinch. As well, trying to find the right position to win some knees, but Sampon looking really strong as the upper hand. Right away, pushing forward again. Oh, beautiful tip though. The kick. Well, Sampon is really frustrating Alexi right now. He is the one who's being the aggressor of the two, Sampon. Oh, oh. tip to the face. But when he's getting in close there, just watch the clinch. So, and I, Alexi doesn't want to be in there. Sempo not leaving any space for Alexi to work. Look at that. Attempted left hook there by Alexi. Looking for the right hand, but he's not finding the target. Left kicks by Sempo, he's just swarming all over Alexi right now. Not allowing him to breathe. Trying to stay at his own range, trying to stay close. Alexi struggling to get out. Oh, elbow through the guard there by Alexi. But in doing so, walks straight into the clinch once again of Sempon. Yeah, and Sempon having the advantage in his positioning in the clinch. And you can see as he goes in, looking for a few kicks as well. You see Sempon in perfect position here within the clinch to throw those knees. Alex is struggling to keep Sampon away. And I can understand why, because as soon as the ref breaks out, he's already back onto you at his own range. And of course, having a dominant position in the clinch. Yeah, look, Sampon straight away walking Ooh. directly at him. Absolutely. That's what Alex is going to have to try and make the most of, is those counter Yeah, he needs strikes. to try and keep him away. Not an easy task so to do. He's only like white on rice. Mm -hmm. Oh, careful with that head! Sankar, like an octopus, always yeah. on to you. <laughs> he is. 
Whether it's his legs with a kick, cheap, or hands, it seems like it's almost impossible to get out. Those knees to the body, devastating right now by Senpo. Definitely, definitely a frustrating game plan coming from Senpon to Alexis. And the thing, this is the thing about Senpon, he's just not allowing Alexi to do anything no, right absolutely, now. Absolutely, absolutely. But coming at, the, up, at the same time, tiring him. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It might not be very entertaining, but let me tell you, this is the perfect game plan against somebody like Alexi, who's very dangerous. We've seen him in the past. Yeah. We've seen those hands, those combinations. Yeah, it's having a devastating effect. It really Alexi not giving up just yet. Oh. Already the end of the round and a tiring round for Alexi, which will most probably be scored in favor of the Thai fighter. Uh, you'd have to think so. I mean, what we saw in round number one, uh, round number one by Sempon, was basically increased in intensity in round mm. number two. Let's have a look at how he did it. Just constantly pushing forward, walking forward straight into Alexi, showing him no respect at all, and just grabbing a hold of him at every opportunity. Now, some might see it as anti-fighting, but really, it is really working for Sempon here tonight. Yeah, Alexi saw... not really having a sniff. Absolutely, we saw us. A... Second round, all three judges. Score written, blue now. And for the total score, the first judge scored it 20, blue 18. The second judge scored 19 to 19, even. And the last judge scored red 20, blue 18. Difficult situation now for Alexi. Again, we've seen him before as the fighter up ahead on the scorecard, not pushing forward anymore. So it'll be interesting to see is Sampon gonna still. Push forward, stay in the clinch, or fight on the back foot. Nada, he's up ahead. I mean, the fact that they're fighting in a close proximity, the only thing I can think of that might help Alexi is trying to fire an elbow through that guard of Sempon, but straight away. Yeah. So clever, Sempon, grabbing a hold of him. Sempon, the octopus. <laughs> There's no escape, absolutely no escape. A little bit more space now yeah. for Alexi. To work once again. The octopus is now known. Wrapping his hands around Alexi, he cannot fire off anything. Mm. Yeah, Alexi needs to find his own distance, circuit around. Of course, easier said than done as Sempon pushes onto you with his key hands or kicks. Right away, he grabs a hold of your neck. Once you can see, Sempon just wants to be exactly where he is right now. And it's just one of those fighters, you just have to fight the clinching position, you just can't get out of it, can't get away from it. Alexi now separated, he has to make the most of these opportunities, unfortunately, just can't. so difficult to fight off the back foot. A left elbow there by Sempon. Under two minutes to go now, first fight of the main card this evening. Let's not forget the main event. Som Ratsumi, the current Rajdamnon female champion of bantamweight, will defend for the very first time against Slovakia's Monica Choklikova over five scheduled rounds. What a game plan by Sempon. Yeah, absolutely, you gotta love the game plan of Sempon, of course. Oh. Like I said earlier. Oh, almost walks into a spinning back elbow. Perhaps not the most entertaining game plan, but it works, yeah, that's for sure. 100% effectiveness by Sempon. Now he's taken to the ring here tonight in this game plan. Look. Oh, almost for Alexi looking for that right hand. And the other thing that I like about Sempon in this third final round, he's not taking a step back, which yeah, of course absolutely. we do see when fighters are two rounds up. He's continued with this vicious game plan to just take the power away from Alexi. Ooh. Well, as we say I that, just, as I say that, now leaving a little yeah. bit more space and opportunity for Alexi to come back. He needs to utilize on those precious seconds. Now the fight is not over just yet. 40 seconds remaining on the clock. The question is, does he have anything left in the gas tank? Yeah, absolutely. To take after, out Sempon. after all those minutes of clinching and an attempt 
hands combinations and able to find the, the target there. It's looking good for Senpon, the source of my. I'm sure the next time that we see the rankings, the next time that they will be above and back into top five contention here at Welterweight. Oh, oh. just a slip there. Of course, we've got Hercules, the champion, Erdem Ginger. <laughs> He's a former Rajdamner Stadium champion, also at welterweight, as well as a host of other fighters in this division. But a great night, great mm. workout for Senpon. What a game plan. Yeah, frustrating fight for the French fighter, for Pro sure. Probably frustrating a lot of the fans here in attendance yeah, as well. But I don't think Senpon cares. It's exactly what he needed to do. Let's have a look at how he did it. That's why I kicked there early on and then just walking him down, almost zombie-like. That was at the end of the first round, digging in some punches. There he is, the third attempt is spinning back elbow. Desperation for being on his fire, let's see. It's Senpon, it wasn't pretty, but my goodness, did it work. All right, let's get the official confirmation of the decision by our MC in the ring, and then we'll be moving on to our second bout of the main card here on RWS. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the charge scorecard. The first charge scored is about 30 to 27. The second charge scored 29 to 28. And the last charge scored 30 to 27. Declaring your winner by way of Unanimous Decision! Senpon showing us once again why he is a part of the top 10 and one of the best in this weight class. What a perfect game plan and what a fight from him. Yeah, absolutely. you got to give it. Like you said, the game plan was in full force. It was pushing forward, not allowing Alexi to breathe and then delivering those beautiful knees to the body and defending well as well. Alexi just couldn't penetrate the defense of Senpon. A frustrating night at the office for Alexi, but I'm sure he will be back. As for Senpon, he's now looking up to the higher limits of the welterweight division with potentially a title shot in the future if he continues to perform like that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now let's move on to the next fight of the evening. So please uh, welcome the fighters, uh, Harvard Gordon and his opponent. Please uh, welcome uh, Petnokmai Kodesano. The young superstar is back here in Ratchatamena Stadium. One of the two Gordon brothers. We've seen him perform before. We've seen his potential and we've seen how good he is. But a tough challenge for him tonight. Will he perform? Let's find out. And welcome, Ahabat Gordon. his opponent. It's going to be a very tough ask here tonight for him. Pet Pet Mai from Thailand back on RWS. Still looking for his first victory in three fights. Like I said, a tough ask against a very talented Ahabat Gordon. But anything's possible in the sport of Muay Thai. Let's see how he performs here tonight. Welcome back. Pet Pet Mai, on time.
And there you can see the tail of the tape for this one, the second bout of the evening in the main card of this week's RWS. Ahava, the golden boy, Gordon, in the red corner. From Israel, 17 years of age, standing at 172 centimeters. This fight is taking place at lightweight, 135 pounds. Has a reach of 168 centimeters and was born in Zikhorn in Israel. He has a professional record of six and oh, he's undefeated. And three of those victories have come right here on RWS. An IFMA World Championship bronze medalist, that's the amateur ranks of Muay Thai. A WAKO World Champion, I believe that's kickboxing. And he's also a European Muay Thai gold medalist. And like I said, he's currently 3-0 here in RWS. Two of those wins coming by way of knockout. Last time we saw him was in February last month, where he knocked out Super K Sipmon Chai by a knockout due to elbow strikes in round number two. And he's also delivered a beautiful spinning back kick to the body of Majorat from Thailand. And also, he defeated Liu Hai Yang via decision. In the blue corner, Pet Medmai from Thailand, 31 years of age, standing at 167 centimeters. He has, he weighed in 134.4 pounds and has a reach of 170 centimeters. He was born in Ubon Ratchatani in Thailand. He has a professional record of 48 fights, 35 victories with 13 losses. Southeast Asian amateur Muay Thai champion. Known for his durability and he has, like I said, had three fights on RWS. Unfortunately for him, he has lost all three of those fights. It was originally supposed to be a fighter by the name of Milad Tavakoli, who did get a win by a knockout against Sensan Arawan here at RWS. But unfortunately, he was injured and had to pull out. So here in comes Pet Pat Mai. But yeah, Anton was talking about the fact that Ahavat's got a brother, Paiyu, but he's also one of six siblings. And I believe that three or four of them are all fighters. One of them in Brazil, I believe. Started Muay Thai at seven years of age, did Ahavat. And uh, has made a name for himself, as has his brother here on RWS. I think if he is going to continue at 135 pounds, it is of course a stat weight division here in Thailand, not just of course in RWS, but we have many, many incredible fighters at that weight ca category. In fact, the champion, John Paranchai, he will tell you a little bit more about who he will be fighting next here on RWS. He will be, I can tell you, defending that title belt. In fact, I believe it will be for the very first time on RWS in the coming weeks. And I will tell you the opponent later on tonight after our main event, as well as some other more incredible matchups that we've got going on. And then you can see Pet Medmai going through his Y crew before we get this second bout underway. It's going to be a tough test, a real tough test for Ped Pad Mai. Losing recently, I believe in February, to the Australian fighter James Acostic. It's also lost against Belgian fighter Thiago. And to Amir Venomoy Thai. So, three fights against three fighters from three different nationalities. Unfortunately for him, three losses. How will he perform tonight against Israel's Ahavat Gordon? Well, let's find out. With the introductions, the voice of RWS, the voice of Rajdan Nuri, Mr. Beer, and you can see Ahavat's brother. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second main card of RWS Ratchet Up Them World Series. This is Muay Thai. This is Ratchet Up Them. This bout is brought to you by Train Rubicans, 
and introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Chirasin Sira Ratsakun. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. 17 years of age, he stands 172 centimeters tall and weighing 135 pounds. He holds a record of total six wins. He is European Muay Thai gold medalist and the WKO World Champion and FMA World Championship bronze medalist. Representing is Rahel. Let's hear it for the Golden Boy, Antoine Gordon Silva. Poland fighting over the blue corner, 31 years of age. He's done at 167 centimeters tall and weighed even at 34.4 pounds. He will record up 35 wins and 13 losses. He is Southeast Asia amateur Muay Thai champion representing Ubon Rajatani province, Thailand. Let's hear it for that man by All right, fighters are ready. Here we go. Matt Gordon has been blistering. He's making his debut here on RWS. Whew. The combination straight away there from the Golden Boy. Oh, big elbow after a trip there from Arvac. Oh, that guy looking to redeem himself. Mm. A big ass though against someone as talented as Arvac. Slip there by Harvat. Got the nice tilt, taking his time, trying to figure out what his Gordon made of. He's in great shape, though. Yeah, absolutely. He's looking a little bit thicker as well. Yeah, he is. Perhaps in covering some strength and condition. <laughs> Big left kick coming from Harvat. Oh, beautiful uppercut. Left kick to the body as well by Harvat. Woo! Oh, Sensed right hand gets through, I think. Yeah, but a big elbow coming from Pat Medmai. Of course, the experience living on the Thai fight. Oh, another oh. elbow attempted. Oh, and the take. Well executed. Sting it left knee to the body. Yeah, and it's not the kind of shots you want to be taking. Especially, oh, uh, trying to have a good low kick. It's starting to hurt. Oh, solid left shot to the body there by Harvat. And again, going back to the body. It's just so quick, the way he explodes. Switches stances from left to right. Oh, with the power coming from Petman by good low kick. Still taking his time, but he needs to be careful. Good right kick, but right away, I have it answering. Last by Harvat. Oh, Ooh. not a bad round for the Thai fighter, though. He's durable, is Petman Mai. Yes, indeed. Oh, spinning back kick to the body. Seen that knockout happen due to Harvat here before an RWS. Harvat going fancy. Whew. Looking for that left hook. Why has he got? Gone back downstairs to that leg. Mm. Good right kick coming from the Thai fighter. Oh! oh! Warning shot there. Yeah, absolutely. Again. And now pushing forward. Yeah. Good combination. Well defended by Gordon. 
have to find out how is the judges, how, is the, how are the judges going to score this one? Very good in close round. We had the speed, the amount of shots landed by Ahava. But of course, the power shots coming from the high fighter at that time. Yeah, let's have a look at the highlights. That was a beautiful step in Eden from Ahava. Combining with an elbow strike. Oh. Good elbow strike there from the tie. Spinning back kick attempted. Swinging left hook there from Hatabat. All out action in round number one here on RWS. It's going to be a close one. Stay with us. Round two up next. But for that, of course, and we'll see how the judges have scored it. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, all three judges. Score it 10, blue 9. There's that kick. And I thought we might see more of them from being honest. Whew, crowd looks like they're getting behind Harvard, I think. Yeah. Right elbow there by the golden boy. Good stepping knee from Pet Pet Mai. Yeah, it seems like Pet Pet Mai has adjusted trying to get into the clinch now. We saw the speed coming from Harvard. There's that outside kick to that what might be a compromised left leg and again. Oh! Ooh. Wow, good interception from the ref. Oh, big problems for that leg. Yeah, the speed coming from Ahava and constantly hitting that leg. Oh, wow, too block. And again, Pet Ben Mai blocking that low kick, or attempted low kick as Ahava looks for an elbow. Stepping knees there by Pet Pet Mai. Again on the leg. Ooh. Keeps going back to the leg. That was a good block there yeah, for Pet Very Pet good Mai. block now. A little bit better for Pet Pet Mai now getting into the clinch. He needs to stay active though. Yeah, a lot of body strikes and low kicks here from Ahavai. Oh! Once again with the right hand, good, good shot, from, but again going back to the leg. Oh, knee that to the leg. Yeah, I have that so disciplined. Pepper Mai is doing everything in his power to try and block those low kicks. He is indeed. And I do believe that the clinch is probably the best option for him, but he needs to be faster and be working a little bit harder when he gets in that position. Have to throw some knees, but right now it seems like his leg is compromised. Oh, very much so. But knees here from Hatabat against the fighter who's almost on one Ooh. leg right now. Right elbow there. Oh, flush oh. kick again. I think he's thinking he's about that. Right? Oh. There he is. He is for sure. Seems like it's a matter of time now before he goes down. Oh. God, open. Oh. How about taking full advantage? How about looking a little bit tired right now? <laughs> looking the clock. End of round number two. Oh, oh. Limping. limping back to the corner. Not a great sign for Pet Pet Mine. Uh, Gordon, very accurate with that kick, and of course, very disciplined following the game plan perfectly, constantly going back to that leg. Let's have a look at how he did everything in his power to try and destroy that leg in round number two. Finishing every combination with a low kick to that left leg. Pet Pet Mine doing everything to. Try and either move out of the way, block it, try and push, push straight out of that, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. 
A great round for the Israeli Ahavak Gordon here on RWS. Third round coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, in the second round, all three judges score in 10, blue 9. And for the total score, all three judges score in 20, blue 18. Going to test that left leg. All right, third and final round. See the Vaseline on his leg. All right, here we go. Last round, last chance for the Thai fighter. Amazing switch from Ahava. Now he knows. Oh, big left hook. Yeah, he knows. Oh, he's going to be aware of his leg. So going to the head right now is probably the better option before actually going back to that leg. I feel like Ahava. Oh, and the cuts now. now. Setting up his low kicks. Not just sure. straight in pet pet my yeah, I'm not oh, sure another big elbow not sure how long is oh, the ref oh, going to let this go taking so much damage right now pet pet my needs to come up with something very fast starting to beat up pet pet mine he is oh That's massive card as well oh, oh. That's a spinning back kick there by Harvard. Head, head by. Yeah, and another big elbow. Yeah, he walked into it. Oh, and again, beautiful hands by Harvard. Oh, but let me tell you, Peppermai can't take a punch, though. Oh, he can. And again, that right hand. Extending the right hand. Full force, and there's another elbow. Oh, look at that. The accuracy, the speed, the power. Head, head by almost like a punching bag in this third round. Far too easy for Ahavad. Yeah, Ahavad are having a good time right now. So clever as well. He hasn't gone to the leg. Yeah, I absolutely. I feel like Pedramai has been thinking about blocking the leg kicks. But instead, Ahavad has flipped the switch and flipped the script and instead gone upstairs delivering some beautiful boxing technique. How long and is elbows. this going to keep going? I'm not sure if the ref is actually going to... Yeah, I was about to say, if the ref wanted to go... Oh, uh, you, you next so... And there it is, it's all... Wow. An incredible third and final round by Harvard Gordon Woo. gets the job done here tonight on RWS. That was a masterclass. <laughs> Beautiful performance from the young Gordon. Good night, Pet Met Mai. He was just too quick, too accurate. Pet Met Mai, like I said, was anticipating Blocking the kick, that's what he had in his brain, thinking about blocking those low kicks. And instead, out of that, the, the golden boy just went straight mm. upstairs through beautiful punches, fast, accurate, and elbows to devastating effect. And once again, will get his hand raised in the sport of professional Muay Thai, extending his record to 7 and 0. Oh. And you're absolutely right, him being focused on the leg, but of course you do need to have more than just one weapon in order to be able to switch it up like Gordon just did. The hands, oh. the elbows. Oh, Right elbow, that. that was it. Right hand, Woo. and that's Good it. Night. Good night indeed. Once again, for good measure, for good luck. Congratulations, Ahavat Gordon here on RWS with the introduction. Sorry, let's get Mr. Beer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, of the one minute and 56 seconds of the third round, we have a winner by way of knockout, Blue Red.
Another stunning victory for the prospect and the young Gordon brother. Very impressive, yeah. Now extending his record to four fights here in RWS with four victories and three knockouts. The future is bright for both Ha'avat and his brother here in RWS. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now moving on to the co-main event. So please welcome the fighters. Issei Iksenakon Jim and his opponent. Please uh, welcome Ompayak Oh Lock Boom. And here he is uh, representing uh, Fukuoka. Japan. Issei is back here once again in Rasterman Stadium. And he gets the winner tonight. Welcome, Issei. It's in the con And here comes his I opponent, like Kompayak for Lak Moon. Fighter is no stranger to competing no here on RWS. But indeed, it is his debut. Nah, Sorry, no, no stranger to competing at Rajon Stadium, side side but it is his debut here on RWS here tonight. A stadium, a five round stadium fighter is looking to now compete in these three rounds. How well is he going to be able to adapt? Two, the three rounds, that is the question. Let's welcome Kompayak to RWS. And here you can see the tail of the tape for the co-main event of the evening. In the red corner, Issei. From Japan, 26 years of age, standing at 165 centimeters. This fight will be taking place at 117 pounds. He has a reach of 163.5 centimeters. He was born in Fukuoka in Japan. He has a professional record of 43 victories with 14 losses and three draws. Currently ranked number 10 at 115 pounds super flyweight. A K1 Bantamweight World Grand Prix runner-up. A former True For You, which is actually a five round promotion here in Thailand. Champion, a two-time world professional Muay Thai champion. In the blue corner, Kong Payak Paul Lakboon from Thailand. 29 years of age, so three years older than Iste. Stands at 163 centimeters, so two centimeter height advantage for a say. He also weighed in at 117 pounds on the money, he has a reach of 165 centimeters. He was born in Chumpon in Thailand. He has a professional record of 87 victories, 25 losses, and two draws. A Northeastern Muay Thai champion, former S1 under the promotion here in Thailand, five rounders, bantamweight champion. Promoted by Pet Yindi, one of the star fighters on the Pet Yindi promotions. But we've seen it before, very talented fighters who train and fight four or five rounds, then attempting to fight at these three rounds can prove very difficult for some fighters to try and adapt. And I'm very intrigued to see how Kompayak can perform here tonight. He's not in the greatest of forms as well. He had three fights in 2023. Um, winning one, losing two. Last fight was in June last year where he took, suffered a loss against Pet Anawat. Issei, on the other hand, he's fought a few times here on RWS. Three times, in fact. He has a record of two and one on this promotion. He has a win over Ekta One, who he indeed did knock out via a body strike. A win over JJ, again, another KO via a right hand. He did suffer a loss against Pantor Paul Lackboom, one of the elite fighters at Bantamweight. 
He also has a win over Nampet. That was in 2024. So he's only 2 1 in RWS, but right now he's 1 0 oh in 2024. A win over a Tide Fighter. That was actually a spinning back kick knockout. So all his victories usually come by the knockouts. He is a ferocious fighter. Incredible technique, especially with his combinations and kicks, where he utilizes body punches a lot. That's what I suspect Conkrak is going to have to get used to here tonight. He's got three rounds, because you know that Issa is going to test the the defensive capabilities of Kompayak. As he goes through his fantastic wide crew. You see this for the Japanese, they do love the wide crew. Issei in the house. With the introductions for your co-main event, Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the third main card of RWS Rashid Abdel World Series. This is Muay Thai. This is Rashid Abdel. This part is brought to you by Chemical Fertilizer, Wong Wong Khan Thai. I'm introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Parame Tukti. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting! Now of the red corner, 26 years of age. His stand of 165 centimeters tall and very evident and 17 pounds. He will record of 43 minutes. 14 losses and 3 draws. He is two times the new PMF Muay Thai champion and former 24U champion and K1 Bantam Great World Grand Prix runner up. Representing Japan, the German for Insane Xenicon Fighting on the blue corner, 29 years of age. His turn of 163 centimeters tall and whatever it and 17 pounds. He will record up 87 wins, 35 losses and two draws. He is a former S1 Bantamweight champion and not Eastern Muay Thai champion. Representing Chumpot Province, Thailand, the children for Dong Payan for Le Coming that time, Japan taking on Thailand. Round number one. You don't want to do against this age, give your legs away. <laughs> he will attack. You're absolutely so quick. Of course, he's got those hands as well. Oh. Oh. Just as you say that, Antoine, swinging right hand attempted inside kick. Connects there for Isse. Oh, good left hand attempted by Kompayak. Mm. Delivering an inside kick of his own, that was nice. Yeah, and Kompayak coming out with a game plan of him pushing forward yeah, like probably that. the right way to do it against somebody like Issei. Taking Issei's game plan to Issei. Absolutely. And Issei trying to circle around. Great footwork there from Issei. It's Kompiak. 
Looks to try and attack and connect, which he's struggling to do. Oh! oh! Yes, yes, left hook, and it's all over! Issei is back. One strike oh, oh, oh. is all it takes. The man who has that much power in his hands. Issei, another knockout victory here on RWX. What a shot. Woo. Perfect accuracy. I said it earlier, you've got to watch for those hands. There it was, the big left hook, I believe. You cannot make one small error against that man or he will punish you. And my goodness, did he punish Kompayak here tonight. Stunning left hand by Issei. Let's have a look at how he did it. Backing up. Oh, One body right hand to the hat. body. And then a left hook oh. as Kompayak looks to throw a left hand. Perfect combination. And perfectly executed. Perfect accuracy. And of course, a, a, a knockout. Look at that. Body back to the head. It was a mistake. Oh. Coming from Kompayak, trainer. Hunter with an elbow, his hand was down. Yeah, and his head moved into the punch. Mm, absolutely. Which makes it look even worse. 115 pounds. Issei is in contention. Ladies and gentlemen, of the one minute and seven seconds of the first round, we have a winner by way of knockout round. What a knockout coming from Issei. And just now going through my mind, what a fight that would be Issei versus Pao Pao Petkin the Aaron. What do you think about that? I like that, yeah. I mean, anyone <laughs> at 115 pounds, anyone at 118 pounds. I know currently we've got Kumandoi, who's the champion at 118 pounds. But I feel like he has an opponent lined up. I don't think we've released that information just yet. <laughs> but like I said, Issei with that punching power, he will be a problem for anyone anyone at 115 or 118 pounds he no. is a phenomenal fighter yeah you're absolutely right the future is bright for Issei and he proved it once again tonight and of course now moving on to the main event and a fight that is going to be very interesting because both fighters without a loss in a long long time Aaron yeah absolutely of course we've got Sam Ratsumi the current champion here at Rajadam Nurn Stadium who won that title back in December. She's currently undefeated in her last 11 fights. And she'll be taking on Monika Choklikova from Slovakia, who I think hasn't lost a professional Muay Thai bout since 2017. It's been a long time since she's tasted defeat in a professional Muay Thai bout. And I think overall, she's riding a 10 fight winning streak. So these, this really is the clash of two of the best fighters in this weight division right here tonight over five rounds. And the winner will, of course, be the Rajdam Nun Stadium champion. Will it be and still, or will it be and new? Let's find out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so please welcome the fighters because this is the Rajadam Nun Stadium female Bantamweight title fight. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger representing Slovakia. Please welcome the volcano, Monica Kovlikova. Here comes the challenger, rank 
right number one in the Bentonburn division right now. All the way from Slovakia. The pressure has got to be on and what a fight we are about to witness tonight. History to be made. This is what it got, Chocolate Cobra. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the current Ratchet of the Stadium female bantamweight champion and two divisions of the US world champion, representing Thailand. Please welcome Sandra Samir, Madam Boy Thai Jam. The champ, champ, champ is here twice. An RWS tournament champion in 2022 and 2023. And the inaugural first ever Rajnamnan Stadium champion as a female. Incredible. So I'm wrapped to me though, has now got to try and defend that belt for the very first time against the number one contender. Undefeated in 11 fights. Barely losing a round in that time. But I believe, if I'm being honest, this is her biggest test to date. Smile on the face of Sam Ratsumi. How will she perform here tonight in her first ever Rajamna female title defense in the history of Rajamna Stadium? Main event time for the Rajadam Nurse Stadium female bantam weight title. Tail of the tape in the red corner. So Ratsumi Manok Muay Thai Jim from Thailand. 22 years of age, standing at 168, 69 centimeters. She weighed in at 117.6 pounds and has a reach of 167 centimeters. She was born in Chiang Mai in Thailand. She has a professional record of 51 fights, 45 victories with six losses. The current Rajaramna Stadium female bantam weight champion, and like I said, a two division, two year, two weight RWS champion, 112 pounds and 118 pounds. Also an IPCC and WMO Muay Thai champion. In, there you can see the rankings. Monica number one, there we see Gamlai Pet. Sevgi, who she defeated back in December to get that title belt wrapped around her waist. We also saw Barbara Aguayer, an incredible champion from Brazil in her own right, in number four. So introducing Monica Choklikova from Slovakia, known as the Volcano. 28 years of age, standing 170 centimeters. She has a reach of 160 centimeters, which means Sarmatsumi does have a slight reach advantage, seven centimeters going to the champ. She was born in Trenčín in Slovakia. She has a professional Muay Thai record of 25 fights, 21 victories with four losses. I actually do think a couple of those losses were actually in kickboxing. She also has MMA experience as well. A three-time WMC Muay Thai world champion, a four-time IFMA gold medalist, a six-time WAKO, as in kickboxing gold medalist. So 
not only has she got experience in MMA, kickboxing, Muay Thai, but the amateur ranks of all these sports as well. An incredible career. This would be the cherry on the cake, running it to become the Rajnamun Stadium champion and take it away from the golden girl that is Som Ratsami. So Som Ratsami, 11-0 here in RWS with wins over Gabrielle Moran against Naupro Jan, Sarah Gohi from the USA, Gamlai Pet, who we saw in the rankings there. In fact, she has two wins over Naupro Jan. Win over Daisy Seven Muay Thai, Pet Nam Nung, and indeed Zevgi, sister Zara Dogen, as well. She also has a win over the star Sit Chaw. So, Monica Choklakova started Muay Thai at 16 years of age and says her favorite fighter is Dwokal. A soldier in the Slovakian army. She actually had surgery on her shoulder a couple of years ago. And she says that she's got around 20 people traveling to watch her fight here tonight. And you can hear them. They're actually not far away from where Antoine and I are sitting. There you can see the Akia Pet. We will remove the Moncon off some Rapsani. Mr. Beer will now be the man to introduce the fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've been waiting for. This is the main event of the evening. This bout is Russian of the stadium, female random word, title match, fighting in the roots of five rounds, Muay Thai. This is Muay Thai, this is Russian of them. This bout is brought to you by Leo Soda. And introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Python Kokla. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Introducing first, the challenger fighting about the blue corner, 28 years of age, to start at 170 cm tall and ready with it at 17 pounds. She will record of 21 wins and four losses. She is six times the BWKO gold medalist and four times IFMA gold medalist and three times the BUMC Muay Thai champion. Representing Slovakia, the Czech the Volcano, Monica Kovlikova. And opponent fighting out of the red corner. 22 years of age. She's down with it and 69 centimeters tall and ready with it and 17.6 pounds. She a record of 45 wins and six losses. She is IPCC Muay Thai and Muay Thai Junior Cup gold medalist and two divisions RWS World Champion and the current Russian of the Stadium Female Random World Champion representing Chimai Province, Thailand. Let's hear it so I'm ready to be my own Smile on the face of some rap to me. A more focused look by Monica. All right, now's the time. Round one of the scheduled five rounds. Two minutes per round. History in the making with this fight. Some nice and southpaw. Woo! Big great kick coming from Monica. For oh. Monica, not only will she make history if she wins, supposed to be become the first, sorry, the second ever female fighter to have the Rajnamun Stadium belt. She will be, of course, the first on tie, mm. and I believe the first Slovakian ever to win a Rajnamun Stadium belt as well. 
Yeah, absolutely. But of course, a tough ask oh, good right. for tonight. I'm so Ratsami is looking aggressive, unusual for her in round number one. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, coming in with a game plan of getting close. Trying to get the advantage oh. in the clinching position, and she gets it. She does land good on take top. down. The score big that for Som Ratsami is looking good in the opening stages here. Yeah, and we've seen Monica in the past. Uh, her outside game is scary, scary, but the inside game is probably going to be the advantage in Som Ratsami's side. This is why she's trying to get close right now. So we've seen Monica two times before here on RWS. Of course, both times winning those fights. Both times, I believe she was cutting. He cut her opponent, Paraket. Mm. And uh, Daniel Simmons from the US of A. So far, some has been very disciplined. Monica trying to defend the clinch and some has been still. Just so just though, yeah. very close. Yeah, Monica, she defeated now Prajano, of course. <laughs> so Rasmi defeated twice. We go to Rajlamun event here in December. End of round number mm. one. Good round from both fighters. Som Rasami a little bit more aggressive, uh, scoring in the clinch. We saw a few punches landing coming from Marika. It'll be interesting to see how the judges are going to score this one. I would suspect that Som Rasami would take this one. I feel like she was mm. a bit more aggressive and she delivered some better kicks. But landed to Monica. It was a close round though. Very little separating these two. Just brushing off the shoulder. Stay with us, round two, up next. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, the first shot score red 10, blue 9, the second shot score red 9, blue 10, and the last shot score red 10, blue 9. She pushes forward with the left kick and grabs a hold of you, lands that knee, of course, trying to get the upper position in the clinch. On the other hand, Monica in the outside with the fast combinations. Let's see, second round. Here we go. Monica looking for a uh, the Superman punch there, but walked straight into the clinch. So Maxime looking good. Monica still work, working hard in the clinch as well. Coming from the Thai fighter. So Monica looking a little bit tense. Uh, she's going to try and find a way to loosen up just a little bit. Ooh. Good right hand there by Monica. Yeah, I like what she's doing. Right kick, right hand. Oh, oh, but the big knee coming knee. from Somrasami. Very good knee there by Somrasami. Monica is very active in the clinch and she has to. She needs to be throwing those knees constantly. Ooh. Monica looking for that right kick. Not able to find Somrasami. Somrasami looking for the left and two. Can't find Monica. Ooh. In the cat and mouse right now. Mm. Is indeed. Ends up in the clinch and... Monica, very active. She is. At least if you're going to be in the clinch, make it difficult for your opponent. And I feel like that's what Monica is doing right now. So. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So I mean, having a better position in the clinch, but not oh, working as hard, but hand. good hands. Big left hand there by So Ratsami. Ooh, the knee. And of course, we'll have to look at the aggression of the Spiders. Oh, oh! The double there by Monica. Good hand placement though by Son Ratsami once again, tying Monica up, but that was a big elbow by the Slovakian. And you can feel how strong Monica is in the clean chin, though she does not has, have the advantage in her position. Oh, a back fist. Left kick there. Once again, Monica. Good defense. Oh. And of the round, what a difficult round to judge once again. Really difficult. It is. We had Somrasami very aggressive again, landing with 
few punches and those knees having a better posture in the clinch but Monica it's fair to say outworking her opponent let's have a look at the highlights there you can see some good knees by Monica and that left elbow within the clinch might have been the sh shot of the round big knee there by Sam Ratsami deliver one against the ropes also in that round these two so close in ability the highest highest level stay with us round three up next here on rws ladies and gentlemen in the second round all three judges scar red 10 blue nine and for the photo score, the first shot scored, red 20, blue 18, the second shot scored, 19 to 19 even, and the last shot scored, red 20, blue 18. For both fighters, but Monica, mm. she needs to win a round. Yeah, absolutely. Running out of time. Here we go, third round. <laughs> All right, here we go. Monica, what will be the game plan? She needs to make it a little bit dirty. Perhaps oh. stay wild. Good right hand. Getting in the clinch uh, with a defensive position coming from the slow hand. Yeah, and once again, blocking that knee. All those knee attempts. I like what she was doing with the right kick, right hand. Oh, whew, good flurry of punches and elbows there by Sam Ratsami. Here comes the volcano. Yeah, and I don't think getting in the clinch is the right decision for Monica. She wants to stay on the outside. So pressing, of course. Like I said, with a little bit of an awkward style, whether she pushes forward. She just, she's so difficult to, to hit. She is. She indeed. uses those long arms mm. as defensive weapons as well. So when you do try for a punch or an elbow, it gets deflected. Yeah, absolutely. She's got a little bit of a Pat Malcott style yes. as a woman. That's so awesome. Great comparison. Good kick there by Monica off the back foot. Yeah, better rotation from Monica, but Somrasami very active right now in the big knee again. 50 seconds remaining on the clock for Monica to turn it around. Yeah, left kick, left hand by Monica. Proud. Really trying to get behind Monica right now. She needs the help. Oh, good left hand by Som Ratsami. That stiff jab getting into the clinch. Som Ratsami still has the better posture out of the two into the clinch. She will have the advantage on the scorecard with that, that's for sure. Now the ref asking her to fight. As well, not really sure why though. She's been the one pushing forward as well. Oh, with a back fist again. In the end of the round. Monica confident, but will it be enough to win the round? Yeah, I'm not so sure. I feel like it was potentially another frustrating round for Monica. She had a moment. I feel like perhaps the better strikes were coming by way of Som Ratsami, but it's a very close one again. Let's have a look at the highlights from the round. See a right hand there going in by Monica. Nothing off significant. That was a good left hand. And she span there for that spinning back. She unfortunately got, got caught by Som Ratsami. Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, in the third round, all three judges, score rate 10, blue 9. And for the total score, the first round score rate 30, blue 27. The second judge score rate 29, blue 28. And the last judge score rate 30, blue 27. Well, like I said, the ultimate goal, of course, would be to be Rajdan Amnur Stadium champion. She has two rounds to try and change things in her favor. Let's see if she can do it. Round number four. All right, here we go. The fans are still cheering for the volcano. Monica, 
She will need a knockdown now, I believe, if she wants to win the fight. Or so has Always very disciplined, pushing forward. Don't change your winning team, they say, and she's still going with yeah. the same game plan. Oh, oh right hand there for Monica. Yeah, much better round. Volcano looking to explode here in round number four. Boy, does she need to. So that's, oh, tempted elbow there by Monica. Looking to drive some knees into the body. She's won herself by some rat to me. Monica needs to stay active. She can't be waiting for some rat to push all the way to back fist again. Nothing like, oh, nothing that she hasn't oh, seen yet. Some rat to good hands. Yeah. Don't always see that by some rat to me, but she does possess good boxing. She does indeed. Pushing forward, making it difficult for Monica to find her rhythm to be able to establish her power. Monica needs to be more active right now. The yes, clock. She's very apprehensive. Very yes, she is. Isn't she? Left elbow. She is indeed, but again, that's the style of some Hassan. Yeah. Pushing forward, making it hard, making you, th making you think before you throw. Before you know it, the time is over. Still pushing forward, some hasn't been. Back in the clinch. Another tough one to call, isn't it? <laughs> I do feel like Monica's having a, maybe a best round, though, I'm being honest right now. Yeah, I think he's about to get in between, calling for action. Back in the clinch once again. Monica trying to defend as best as she can and the end of the round four. One more to go. Could be a big round here for Monica, of course. If she doesn't win this round, she needs a knockout in round number five, which is a, a, a huge ask. Of course, let's have a look at the highlights first. There, start of the round, a big right hand there to the face of Sorm Ratsumi. And again, a, a second. Oh, good hands though in reply by Sorm Ratsumi. Of course, another attempt to spinning back fist by Monica. But there you can see the fast hands by Sorm Ratsumi straight through the guard of Monica. Let's see how the judges have scored it. Ladies and gentlemen, in the fourth round, the first shot score with 10, blue 9. The second and the third shot score with 9, blue 10. And for the total score, the first shot score with 40, blue 36. The second shot score 38 to 38, even. And the last shot score with 39, blue 37. It's, over. it's all or nothing now for the challenger in the fifth. And final round. Another spinning back fist attempted there. Almost catching some rat to me off guard. Just two minutes to go. Oh, good knee and elbow combination there by some rat to me. Attempted right hand. Ooh, almost a clash of heads that time. Left elbow by Sol Ratsumi. Pushing forward. Is the champ. Good body strike left hand by Sol Ratsumi. Back into the clinch. Something that favours Sol Ratsumi, we'd have to say. Back. Here we go. And with 90 seconds left on the clock, as Son Ratsumi throws and connects with another left hand to the head of Monica. Oh, another left kick to the body and left hand combination. By Son Ratsumi, he's looking good right now for the champion from Thailand. Left kick there by Son Ratsumi, and again, right kick to the body by Monica.
Oh, good knee there from Sam Rasmi, and again. Doesn't look like it's going to be Monica Chocolikova's night here on RWS. Right hand there by Monica. Yeah, left kick to the body by Monica. Five seconds left on the clock. She delivers another good right hand. And an elbow to end the fight. Here tonight on RWS, a disappointed Monica Chocolikova heads back to her corner. Sam Ratsami feels like she's done enough, and enough she has done. Monica gave everything in that fight. But Sam Ratsami just found that pathway to victory. We'll, of course, get an interview with the champion at the end of this one. But let's first have a look at the highlights. See a right kick there from Monica. Left elbow. Attempting that spinning back fist on a number of occasions. Never really found a home for it, unfortunately, for Monica Chocolate over. Good one two combination coming in by Sam Rasmi. Nice little left elbow there by Monica. It would have surprised me to see these two fight again at some point in the future. But as for now, Sam Ratsumi coming out on top in this one. All right, let's get the official decision by our MC in the ring, Mr. Beer. Then we'll get the interview and then we'll tell you what's coming up here on RWS in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to introduce the managing director of Russia Dunner Stadium, Mr. Chit Chiel Sekun. And introducing the president of RWS and the board director of Russia Dunner Stadium, Mr. Bank Tianchai Pisit Putinan. And now, ladies and gentlemen of the Five Rounds of Boy Thai Action, we go to the judge's scorecard. The first judge scored is about 50 to 45. The second judge scored 48 to 47. And the last judge scored 49 to 46. Declaring your winner by way of unanimous decision. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, your winner. I'll get to talk to her. So, Mazami, okay. So, Mazami, congratulations. How are you feeling right now? How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good. 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 ต้องชื่นชมคู่โชว์ค่ะก็คือโมนิก้าค่ะเขาก็มาเต็มที่มากๆเลยค่ะอันนี้ก็รู้สึกดีใจค่ะแล้วก็ตื่นตันมากๆเลยค่ะเพราะว่าก่อนโชว์ก็แรงกดดันเยอะมากๆเลยค่ะเพราะว่าเขาก็บอกว่าแบบทางนู้นเขาเก่งนะเขาแบบแบบเขาแรงเยอะนะอย่างเงี้ยค่ะแต่ว่าตัวหนูก็พยายามคิดอยู่เสมอว่าเราก็เก่งในแบบของเราแบบนี้ค่ะ Well, first of all, I want to thank my whole team, and I feel very happy I did get the victory tonight. Of course, I had a lot of pressure because I knew my opponent was really good, and it was very tough for me to get ready with all that pressure. Of course, with all those victories, now there's a big question. 
What is next for you? ตอนนี้คำถามเลยสเต็ปต่อไปของเราคืออะไรครับก็อยากจะป้องกันแชมป์ค่ะแต่ว่าถ้ามีโอกาสอยากเอ่อพาเอ่อราดำเนินไปต่อยต่างประเทศอย่างเงี้ยค่ะอยากประกองชันแชมป์ต่างประเทศดึกบ้างอย่างเงี้ยค่ะ Well, I do want to keep on defending my title, and if I do have the chance, I want to actually defend my title overseas. So let's find out, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for your winner and still, Somrasami Manop Mortar J. History has been done once again here in Ratchadamnan Stadium. The very first female Ratchadamnan Stadium champion defense, and what a performance again from Somra Sami Aaron. Yeah, absolutely. Again, like we said earlier tonight with other fights, she came in with a game plan. She stuck to that game plan to clinch Monica, and it worked. All throughout the five rounds, Monica really struggled with the fact that Somra Sami was able just to use her long, rangy limbs. And find those knee strikes at will. And when she was backing off, then it was going in with the hands. It was a good effort by Monica, no doubt about it. But Tom Ratsmi is just on top right now at 118 pounds. Yeah, absolutely. What a performance tonight! And I think you mentioned something that is absolutely right—the clinch. That is something that we've seen yeah. tonight. And. Thai fighters have been able to execute it perfectly with perfect game plan tonight. Even though sometimes it might not be as entertaining mm. as people would expect, but it is uh, definitely delivering and getting them the victories. Of course, uh, coming up next week we will have uh, more amazing fights. Yeah, absolutely. A new title defense as Rajanand Stadium flyweight champion Ken Ubon will be defending his title against Sokhan Pat. The number eight ranked fighter. That will be next week. Let's have a look at the flyweight rankings at Rajamnan. Number five, we've got Song Payak Boom Dexian. Of course, a very famous gym. Number four, we've got Well Well Wa Wong Prom. Number three, Tirapong Chryserapop Boxing Gym. Number two, Det Pichai, Navy Andaman, who we've seen, of course, compete here at RWS. And there, number one, Lampo, Root Jack Guard. But of course, number eight, Sakon Pot has got the nod to take on the champion, Ken Ubon, Paul Lackboon, next week here on RWS. Some very talented fighters at 112 pounds, of course. Not only that, but Superman will be Competing against Ruat Gordon in a rematch many, many wanted to see. And then on the 23rd of March, John Hart, the legend, will be taking on Albert Campos, who performed very well last time we saw him in RWS. The main event will be a Rajnam Nern Stadium lightweight title defense as the champion, John Paranchai, will be defending against Samming Dead nor Anna Wood. What a fight that is. All right, and of course, every Saturday, make sure you tune in on The Zone. For tonight, we are done. It was an honor to be here alongside with you, Aaron. So we will see you guys next week because this is Muay Thai and this is Rochadamnon!